Nerds, it's Robo. We're back with another episode of Robo Reviews. And on this episode of Robo Reviews, we're gonna take a look at the pistol holster of the universe. I mean, the Warrior Assault System's universal pistol holster. Check it out. So here it is, the Warrior Assault System's universal pistol holster, or UPH. Now it's the Warrior Assault System's solution to the I have too many guns, not enough holsters problem. Uh, but in all seriousness, it is. It's a, an adjustable holster that will fit most modern framed uh, semi-auto pistols. Uh, so if you are that kind of person that's looking for a modular or multiple uh, pistol solution, uh, this is gonna be one to watch. So let's take a look at what makes this pistol so universally uh, adaptable and uh, give you some pros and cons of why uh, or why not you might want to or why might not want to run this. First and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to my buddy Travis, the owner of Life and Liberty Tactical Gear uh, in Colorado for sending me one of these uh, universal pistol holsters to test out and use and have some fun with. So huge thumbs up, Trav. I really appreciate it, dude. Uh, give me the opportunity to check this out. Uh, for the rest of you, please check out Life and Liberty Gear's information. I've got it all tagged up. Uh, in the description below. So when you got a minute, check out uh, Travis's goods and services. So as I had mentioned, it's the Universal Pistol Holster uh, by Warrior Assault Systems. And it's universal because you can actually modify it uh, and change its size so it fits you know, other pistols like uh, Smith & Wesson or SIG uh, or um, say 1911s. Uh, and here what you see modeled is my G17. Now it's a friction lock design, which uses a sort of, you know, Safari Land Blade Tech-esque uh, ALS thumb button uh, with a trigger lock housing on the inside, which actually clicks to hold the gun in place. Now to make sure the holster actually holds the gun tightly in place, you actually adjust these outside flaps to conform to the different size frame dimensions of different size guns. So right now this one's set up uh, for my G17, but again, just a simple adjustment in these flaps to a 1911, to a Smith & Wesson M&P9, just as a few examples. So as I said, when the gun is actually in the holster, it's held in place uh, by a friction trigger lock that's on the inside, and the mechanism to remove that is actually just pressing down on this thumb release while drawing the pistol. Uh, that disengages the lock from inside the trigger guard and allows you to draw the pistol, and it's what locks or clicks into place when you put it, the pistol back in. So what do I think about it in the end? Well, I've been using this for uh, a few months now, and I gotta honestly say, I mean, it performs quite well within its intended use. Uh, obviously, it has good things and bad things about it, uh, like all things in the world. So. Uh, let's go through the good things first. Now, I mean, obviously, again, it's modular. So for somebody who's looking for a solution to cover uh, multiple tools, uh, this is gonna be a good, a good solution for you. I mean, again, I've run this with my 1911, my SNW, uh, my Timberwolf, uh, and now my Agency Arms G17. So, I mean, it's allowed me to run all of those different pistols uh, with very minimal uh, change over time. Uh, quite successfully. So for somebody looking for a solution like that, this is perfect. Uh, it's very minimalist, uh, it's very sturdy, uh, it's very functional, and allows you to use uh, this holster across a multitude of platforms out there. And as I mentioned before, it's very, very sturdy. The trigger lock and in conjunction with the nylon kind of flaps uh, work very well to keep the gun nice and tight and uh, stable inside the holster if you're a dynamic guy moving around a lot. No worries, it's not gonna shake in this. So yes, while it is modular, that does not mean it's not sturdy. So uh, you'll find that uh, it'll serve those purposes quite well for you. And it does all that while being relatively a cheap option. Uh, I know Life and Liberty Gear sells it for about 45 bucks or so. Uh, so it's a good purchase. It's a nice quality purchase uh, at a low price point in terms of uh, holsters out there. So then what are the negatives uh, about this product? Uh, I mean, for every touted feature uh, like universal or a modular uh, that a, a product kind of touts, there's generally some form of sacrifice also being made on that product uh, in order for that touted feature to exist. So what are they in this? Well, the most notable is the trigger lock system itself, where it's positioned, how it works, uh, actually 
disables the use of any form of uh, pistol light underneath the pistol. So if you're someone that needs a active pistol light solution on your weapon, maybe for duty, what have you, this is not going to be your baby because you actually can't put the gun uh, into the holster. It, uh, everything gets blocked up by the trigger guard. So you actually have to be using a pistol that has no lighting apparatus on default. Uh, that way the pistol can actually fit in there. Uh, and in accordance with that trigger uh, mechanism itself, that kind of leads to the second problem uh, that I've sort of, you know, minorly found in this product. And it's just something to keep in mind in terms of deployment. And that is this uh, ALS style sort of thumb release for the trigger lock. And this is what I mean. So you put a weapon in here and it locks into place. Right on, thumbs up. The problem is this. On my natural draw stroke, I wanna keep my hand nice and high up on the frame of the weapon. And in something, say, like a Safari Land or Blade Tech that has an ALS button up here near where you keep your, high, your thumb high up along the slide, ready to accept your support hand, you push down and out comes gun. The button for this is down below, which requires you to change your hand in order to push that button and then reformat your hand to your regular grip once the weapon is drawn. Now, while this isn't huge, you can get, uh, with practice, you can get really good at sort of avoiding that problem uh, with repetitious practicing, but the problem is, is it creates, in my opinion, uh, a nasty training scar. Uh, and I don't actually know how to fix this in terms of the product. The lock is in line here, uh, so the trigger mechanism or the release mechanism has to be here. Uh, you can't move it over because uh, there would be too much forces acting in weird uh, odd angles to where the mechanism is versus the button and you end up breaking this all the time. So this has to be here. Uh, there's no other solution uh, to, to be had. So it's just one of those things to keep in mind. It's, it's something that I don't like about this, that it changes your grip in order to unlock uh, the weapon. Um, but other than that, it's, I mean, it's a small gripe that you can get over with training. I just don't think you should have to get over it with training. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I really do actually like this accessory. Um, for someone, like I said, who's looking for some modularity in the holster, uh, or at least in apparatus that gives that modularity for when the time brings it, uh, this is a great option, any cheap option. 45 bucks from uh, Life and Liberty Gear uh, and other places on the web. Uh, Warrior Assault Systems Universal Pistol Holster is a great option for somebody with uh, more pistols and holsters, uh, or wants a holster that's you know RMR ready, or et cetera, et cetera. So uh, do check that out. I I've linked Life and Liberty gear uh, down in the description below. So please do check out uh, Travis and his company. Do check out Warrior Salt Systems, also linked in the description below. And uh, check out the Universal Pistol Holster by uh, Warrior Salt Systems. Kind of a cool little toy. Uh, it's done me well. Uh, definitely a Robo approved item. Thanks guys. So there you have it. That pretty much takes care of another episode of Robo Reviews. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Coming down the pipes next, I still have plenty of gameplay and training footage for you guys to enjoy. And in terms of reviews, I still have some reviews for my Lalo footwear, uh, my tactical tailor uh, plate carrier for you, as well as my Inforce lighting utility. So be patient with me. The reviews on those are coming soon, as well as others are dropping in the near future. Now, as always, I want to take a quick second to thank my two most awesome sponsors, being Enola Gay Tactical Smoke Grenades and Red Wolf Airsoft. Now, both of these companies provide me support in such a way, allow me to do more airsoft, but more importantly, bring you guys more gameplay, more reviews, and more philosophies to learn from and enjoy. So big thumbs up to both of those companies. Please do take a quick second to check out their websites. They're linked in the description below. Now, whether you did or you didn't like this video, I still want to know about it. Drop me a line in the comment section below. I love the feedback and the conversation. If you could do me a huge solid, that is like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Keeps me happening in this YouTube game. And as always, guys, until next time, keep having fun playing Airsoft, being good community members, defend what you love. Later, guys.